It's a common complaint across South Florida and much of the country. Older people running into trouble trying to sign up online for coronavirus vaccine appointments. Now, people known as vaccine hunters are stepping up to help despite facing a patchwork of state rules. But that's not stopping these volunteers from spending hours online to land appointments for strangers. CBS 4's Nancy Chen has more. I received a phone call from many acquaintances and friends. Did you call the number? Did you get an appointment? I said, I'm just hearing frustration among frustration. For seniors like 81 year old Jeannie McDowell, they didn't have an iPhone. They don't have a computer. What were they supposed to do? Securing an appointment seems impossible until they reach out to Deidre DeCastro. Okay, no problem. I can help you with that. Went from a cell phone to multiple laptops. Turned into a command center. Yes, in our kitchen. <laughs> DeCastro and her family have booked vaccine appointments by the hundreds in their central New York community. I just need your name as it appears on your license. All for total strangers and for free. We do it between lunch, dinner, pretty much all the time. I just got one yeah. mom. DeCastro is often up until 3 in the morning, rapidly refreshing websites for any availabilities. Now my husband calls it whack-a-mole. You have to be quick because there's 10,000 other people doing probably the same thing. Her husband Marco delivering the printed confirmation tickets. Thank you very much. She first realized the difficulties in getting an appointment while signing up her mother-in-law. Word got out fast after DeCastro started helping neighbors. I heard some seniors even say they would get on the computer, they might lose the site. They put in Rome, New York and ended up in Rochester. And my other dear friend got on the phone and the lady said, call back at four. She called back at four and the tape said the office is closed. DeCastro got an appointment in just days for McDowell and her husband. Only two of the 25 that DeCastro's book on average each day for anyone who asks, including the Petrie family. Vicki was very stressed. By the time she got everything in, the appointment was gone. Vicki and Dave Petrie reached out for their daughter Jessica, who has Down syndrome, after struggling on their own. She helped us, she helped our neighbors, she helped my brother and his wife get an appointment. She just I don't know how she does it. The DeCastro's reach has now spanned four counties. People express their gratitude with cards and even home cooked dinners. But DeCastro says she's just doing anything possible to protect her community. I treat everyone as if they're my parent. Yesterday wouldn't have been soon enough for me if it were my parent. When will you stop? When they stop calling. I would love for everybody to feel safe again. It's not soon enough. Nancy Chin, CBS News, Rome, New York.